Let's take a look at building your first assembly in Onshape. When creating a new document in Onshape, Onshape creates one part studio and one assembly. In the assembly tab, we can begin to insert all the parts that we've modeled and assemble them. To start, I'll select the insert part and assemblies command from the toolbar. A menu then flies out allowing me to choose a part or assembly to insert. In my case, I'm going to start with the base of this vise. I'll left click the vise base, then click the green check. That part is now inserted into my assembly. One of the most important first steps to building an assembly is defining the fixed part. In this assembly, the vise base is fixed and all other parts move around this base. To fix this part, I'll right click it in the graphics and choose Fix. Now that we have the first part in, I can add the others. Since I'm mating these parts, I don't care about where they're placed initially. I'll just place them anywhere in space. This assembly has four parts the vice base, the vice jaw, the shaft, and the spindle. With all my parts inserted into the assembly, I can begin adding mates. Mates in Onshape are a bit different than traditional CAD. Instead of using a combination of references to faces or edges, Onshape uses mate connectors to attach a point from each part and define the degrees of freedom by the type of mate that you choose. Let's start by mating the shaft to the vice base. For this, I'll select the cylindrical mate from the toolbar. Then choose a mate connector at the end of the shaft by hovering over it, and choose a mate connector on the hole in the vice base. These two points are then mated together. The mate dialog allows you to animate the degrees of freedom, giving you visual feedback that you have the correct mate. Now let's mate the spindle to the end of the shaft. For this, I'll use the fasten mate. The fasten mate restricts all degrees of freedom, which means I can use one mate to attach these two parts together. Simply choose a mate connector from each part, and click the green check. Now that the spindle and shaft are mated, let's mate the vice jaw. The slider mate will allow me to mate the jaw to the base and still allow the jaw to slide along it. Again, I select two mate connectors, one from each edge of each part. Click the green check, and you'll see the slider mate constrains the jaw to the base, but still allows the linear degree of freedom to move back and forth on the vise. The last mate here is attaching the shaft to the vise jaw. Here we can use the revolute mate and select a mate connector on the end of the shaft and a mate connector at the bottom of the hole in the vise jaw. Hit OK, and now we've finished assembling our vise.